Okay, so we're gonna talk about doing the blueing water. You're gonna need one blue ball, one full gallon of water, a coconut, and a glass. Okay, what you're gonna to wanna to do first is you're gonna pierce the coconut. You see those three holes? This is where I pierced it. And I let the water drip here, right? The water should drip here, right here in the coconut. And then you're gonna leave that alone. Then you're gonna take this right here, this blue ball, and you're going to put it right here in the closing, you're gonna drop it right on in there. If you if it's too big, you smash it, but it's big enough. And you're going to let that melt in there. You're gonna have a whole gallon of blue water. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is to add some extra spiritual kick and protection to it. You're gonna add just a little bit, an ounce of ounce or two of your coconut water, okay? The rest of the coconut water you could be using to put in your bathtub or wash your hair, but that's a subject for another time, okay? So that's with the blue water. Then after you have made the blue water, you're gonna take little glasses, and then you're going to fill them up with the blue water and put them in the window sills. This is a spiritual protecting water, okay? You can be using other things, but right now we're talking about spiritual protecting water. What you can do is put it in the window sill, as I stated, and this will stop spirits from trying to enter through the windows. We know that glass and water hold spirits. So you want to drop this bluing into it to purify those spirits, eradicate those spirits, dismantle those spirits, if you will, okay?